Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see how to examine nose and paranasal sinuses. After proper positioning, introduce yourself to the patient and take permission from him. Then adequate exposure is necessary. Now, examination starts with inspection of external nose and face. Look for any external deformity any congenital lesion, any signs of inflammation or any other abnormal skin condition. During inspection, sometimes foul smelling coming from the nose can be appreciated. Then paranasal sinuses and external nose is palpated for any tenderness. For frontal sinus tenderness, pressure is given at the roof of the orbit above the medial canthus and in the floor of the frontal sinus. For ethmoid sinus, pressure is given medial to medial canthus. And for maxillary sinus, firm pressure is given over canine fossa. Now external nose is being palpated for any tenderness. Now, each individual nostril is tested for patency with the help of a cotton. It can also be done with tongue depressor which is known as cold spatula test. Similarly, each nostril is tested individually for sensation of smell. To see if the patient complains of any impairment of smell sensation. And to rhinoscopy is done to see nasal vestibule, nasal septum, color of the nasal mucosa, the lateral nasal wall, nasal floor, and sometimes nasal roof. If any secretion is seen in the nasal cavity, then it should be mopped and quality of the secretion should be noted. That is its consistency, color, smell. If there is a mass in the nasal cavity, it should be probed to see if it is sensitive, whether there is any tenderness or not, if it bleeds on touch and its consistency. Probing is also done around the mass to see its attachment. Now oral cavity of the patient is examined. Lip, cheek mucosa, floor of the mouth, teeth, tongue, heart palate, gingiva, all are inspected and palpated. Sometimes sinonasal mass may present as a swelling of the heart palate or ulceration over the heart palate region. In such case, it should be palpated. At the end of oral cavity examination, posterior rhinoscopic examination should be done, which is not done here. Now examination of the upper six cranial nerves will be done. During early part of the examination, we did test for sensation of smell of the patient and thus we did the olfactory nerve testing already. For optic nerve examination, patient should be tested for visual acuity, field of vision and color vision. Visual acuity should be ideally tested with snail and chart. But here the patient is asked to read a distant writing than a near writing. Color vision testing should ideally be done with Ishihara chart. In case of visual field testing, the patient is instructed not to move his eyeball and stare straight to the examiner. Then finger is placed at four quadrants 
and asked if the patient can see it. Now the patient is instructed not to move his head, just move his eyeball to follow the finger of the examiner. The examiner will do a H-shaped movement of his hand and pause at each end of the movement. This is to test for ophthalmoplegia associated with 3rd, 4th and 6th cranial nerve palsy. Now sensation of the face along the trigeminal nerve distribution is tested. First it is tested for fine touch, then it is tested for crude touch. Ask the patient if he can feel any sensation or if he feels any reduced sensation at a specific site. Now light reflex of the patient is tested for. The efferent pathway of light reflex is through optic nerve and the efferent pathway is through oculomotor nerve. We do direct and consensual light reflex to see pupillary constriction in response to projection of light. In direct light reflex, same eye is looked for pupillary constriction. But in case of consensual light reflex, the opposite eye is looked for pupillary constriction. Additionally, corneal reflex can be done by touching the cornea with the cotton and see blinking of the eye. This is mediated through fifth cranial nerve. In the end, the neck note examination should be done, which you will find in my other videos of clinical examination. Complete the examination by thanking the patient for his cooperation and by repositioning the clothing if exposure has been done. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.